In this video, we'll show how to use the knowledge about rational functions to find the limit of rational function. So in our problem, we have a rational function x squared minus 1 over x squared minus 2x minus 3. And when analyzing the behavior of the graph of this function, we usually want to know the domain of this function first. And to find the domain, we factor out the numerator. And here we learn real quick that we have two discontinuities, one at 3, one at negative 1. But what type of discontinuities? It depends on uh, whether the simplest form of this function has these factors in the denominator. So to simplify this function, we have to factor out the numerator. And here we see that x plus 1 actually uh, is shared between numerator and denominator, so we can reduce by that. And here we see that x at x equals 3 we have uh, asymptotic discontinuity. So we have a vertical asymptote um, x equals 3. Uh, and at x equals negative 1 we have removable discontinuity. So what does that mean in terms of the limits? That means at negative 1 the limit of this function, of the original function, is equal to the limit of the same function in reduced form. So what do we have here? Uh, now we can just plug in the function, the value into the function and compute the output. So we have negative 2 divided by negative 4 which is 1 half. Uh, however at 3, it's a different story. At 3, we have the answer is infinity, but is it a plus infinity or minus infinity? So, to determine whether it's a plus infinity or minus infinity, we quickly construct the sign chart, and the sign chart of this rational function uh, is the same as the sign chart of x minus 1 times x minus 3, meaning it is positive on the right and the very left. And since multiplicity at 3 is 1, so the function changes the sign from positive to negative. So this is the sign of this, um, uh, the sign chart of this function. So what's going on at 3? On the right side of 3, we have positive infinity. On the left side of 3, we have negative infinity. So that means the two-sided limit actually does not exist. Now, what's going on at 2? Since 2 is not a point where function has a discontinuity, we can find uh, the limit of the function just by plugging in 2 into the um, function itself. So it's going to be 2 squared minus 1 divided by 2 squared minus 2 times 2 minus 3. So we have... 3 divided by negative 3, which is negative 1. And the last question is, what happens as x approaches to infinity? Well, we know from algebra that um, the end behavior of a rational function depends on the leading terms of the polynomials in the numerator and the denominator. Now, when we're working with limits, we use the fact that polynomials have the same end behavior as the power functions made of their leading terms. That means when working with rational functions at infinities, you can just ignore the uh, terms that are not leading terms. And here, we see that what's left is just x squared over x squared, which can be reduced. So the limit of the function as x approaches to infinity is 1. So this is how we use the knowledge of rational functions to find the limits of rational functions.